My name is Trent Myers. I'm 21 years old. I used to think of skaters as low lifes, stereotypical bros. Did I let my misconceptions get the best of me? Yes. But only with having a brother involved in scootering did my perceptions and knowledge of street sports change forever. Turn the other way, look around. Something big's about to happen. My name is Ryan Myers. I am 19 years old. Uh, Los Gales, California is where I lived. <laughs> and um, I've been scootering for about uh, four and a half years. So my name is Matt Tyler. I'm 18 years old from Livermore, California. I've been riding scooters for five years. Uh, my name is Anton Abramson. I've been scooting for about six or seven years and my hometown is Cupertino in California. All right, hey, my name is Danilo Popov. I'm 17 and I'm coming straight out of Russia. And what was the other one? Uh, <laughs> how long have you been scooting? Uh, I've been scooting for like almost four, four and a half years. I'm uh, Simeon Poling. I'm uh, 18, Sunnyvale, California. Been skating for like uh, since uh, fifth grade. Um, in the world, I'm a student. I am an engineer. I'm interning as an engineer, and I'm also a young life leader, and then uh, an athlete too. Mountain biking, diving, track, and scootering. I feel like people look at me and they kind of say like I'm a kid or just you know like just some person just fooling around, killing time. I don't know. It's like it kind of have a negative vibe to it in like society. Um, Especially like the older generation in the skate scene are really negative towards us because it's something new that they're not used to. But I, I definitely see that uh, people are slowly s starting to uh, see the difference between us and uh, scooter kids, which is the real problem in scootering, and uh, are starting to uh, give us less hate, basically. I don't know. I feel like it really varies because like my mom personally like really loves skateboarding. Just like uh, she loved seeing me skateboard my whole life. So. I don't know. A lot of adults hate it because, like, some people like get really mad about it. But I don't know. I feel like more and more people like it because uh, it's something to do instead of getting in trouble. I guess. I am Spring Myers. I'm Ryan's mother. My name is Jeff Myers. I'm the father of Ryan Myers. It was, if I'm correct, five years ago. About um, he was off. Skating with his friends, normal day, having fun, and we got a call. There was an accident, and he was being rushed to Stanford Hospital with a head injury, and that's all we knew at that point in time. I was driving back from the store, and I called Brian's phone, and his phone was not answering. So I called Luca. And Luca was Ryan's friend who was at the skate park with him that day. Luca answered the phone and said, Luca, how are you guys doing? And Luca says, oh, we're fine. The ambulance is going to be here any second. And I say, Luca, what is going on? My name is Shaley Brooke Myers, and I'm 11 years old, and I'm Ryan's sister. I will... I was actually, I was sad, and I was very, like, well, like, I never knew that this would happen to him, so, yeah. The deck of the scooter hit me right in the face, actually at this skate park, too, there's a good amount of blood, yeah, but just kind of keep going. I've had my fair share of injuries, I have, I had a really bad break in my elbow, 
Uh, about three years ago, I fell backwards, put my arm back to brace my fall, and uh, ended up snapping my arm in half right above the elbow. As far as like scootering goes, I've dislocated my thumb, got a concussion, uh, and then other than that, like a bunch of scrapes and bruises. Uh, yeah, I went to China Banks in San Fran, and I clipped on the top and fell straight on my chin right here. And then I broke my jaw, sorta. So, not that bad though. It, it actually kind of adds to the thrill because there's like the possibility that it could go wrong, but when you land it, it just feels that much better. They're very capable if they're right, but it's a rot full of in injury and it scares me every day that they're gonna have a chronic injury of a, of a real mental capacity and be incapacitated. Yeah, it was just a very, very scary time for all of us. And uh, sorry that it had ever happened. And I wish he would always wear a helmet even after that had happened. But I don't think that's the case. <laughs> At times I do risk my body, but I, I feel it's definitely worth it. It's a lot of uh, personal achievements. Well, I never thought I would have a brother that would like be like, crazy ass him that like does sports even though he gets hurt he keeps on trying and trying and never gives up I thought I would never have a brother like that but now I do and now I'm following his footsteps trying and never giving up and keep on trying and trying I'm gonna start scooter or I'm gonna be scootering until my back hurts a lot pretty much this is a lot of fun so as long as I find it fun I'll keep on riding I see myself riding as long as it's fun. As long as uh, I can go out and enjoy myself and still be functioning, I guess, <laughs> without being too crippled. Yeah, I think Ryan has definitely found his, his group of friends that uh, he shares a common bond with in the sport of scooting. It's uh, athletic, it's uh, competitive, it's team oriented in the sense that he is with his buddies, they look after each other, they travel together to different destinations, to scoot at different places, and they explore a lot of the Bay Area with their scooter uh, adventures. Um, so I think they have had some really good times together and um, that's made him happy and uh, confident. Definitely with changed friendships. me a lot from when I started to now feel like I'm a more confident person. Uh, I see stuff differently. Like uh, I learned to respect people. You know, don't judge a cover by a book by its cover and stuff like that. You know, because that's how I want people to look at me. You know, so it's definitely changed me. I've been scared for him, and I wonder where he will go with scootering. But it makes me realize that happiness comes in all shapes and forms, and that we can't judge others on their pursuit of what they deem as happy. In other words, forget what society thinks of you. Be who you want to be, and be free. Send me to sleep, send me to sleep. I'm tired and I, I want to go to bed. Send me to sleep. Sing me to sleep